Surge away. Alright guys, I think we are ready to rock actually. Looks like everything is running. Gamer man, what's going on gamer man? Alright brother, I got the Rainbow Road installed. Can you guys hear me? Is everything good? Can you hear me? I hope. We got Rainbow Road going. Um, we did the 79 Impala. We did, yo, Rapid Gaming. What's up man? Guys, um... Before we get started, I want to let you guys know what the hell has been going on with me. I've been MIA from YouTube for like a week or two, it seems like. Um, I've been so busy with new games and trying to market the stream and trying to refine the brand and the meaning behind it and all the stuff. And my God, there's so much stuff. But I'm trying to buckle down and take all this shit seriously. Um, but today we're going to do some Car Mechanic Simulator builds. I don't have any car mechanic videos to put out, although there's a new game that I haven't played. It's called Second Galaxy. I've been streaming it on Twitch. Um, I will have a video of that coming out just in case you guys are curious what it's about and stuff. Also, I've been playing a lot of the, the Green Hell, which is a survival game. Nice. You guys can hear me good? Fuck yeah. Let's go. But um, tonight what we're going to do is we're going to do a rebuild. We're going to try to find a 1979 Chevy Impala. If we can find the Chevy Impala, that's what we're going to build. Um, and of course, we're going to go to the the sandbox mode. That way we got tons of money. Tons of money, tons of money. So, yeah, we're going to try to do the 79 Impala. If we can't find that, we've got a Mustang that we can look for. A 69 Mustang, I believe. Yo, 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 Rapid, how you been, man? Gamer man, how you been? How you boys been? Good, I hope. Good, 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 good. Yeah, guys, uh, we're gonna keep doing this. Um, I've got a little bit of cash, so we're gonna get a couple more DLCs for this game. Uh, I just don't know when we're gonna be able to grab those. Probably here in the next couple days. Um, also, I want to work on getting Farming Simulator. But I've gotta find time for that, so. Been doing good, huh? Been busy? Hell yeah. Right on, man. Glad to hear that, brother. Glad you're doing good. Okay, so we got ourselves Dodge Challenge, Challenger Hellcat Hema, Hemi Speed Hunter. Hellcat Hemi Speed Hunter. Um, we don't want to work with this guy. We want to go find a very specific vehicle. Um, let's check out our garage to make sure we don't have one already. We're looking for the Impala. We want to do the Impala, correct? Yeah, let's do the Impala, man. Let's do the Impala. I don't think I have an Impala, so we're going to have to go out and look for one. And see if we can find it. Um, let's see here. Ferrari, Supra, Bugatti, Devo. Oh, we've got the Lamborghini Veneno 2013. We're going to do old cars today. I think we're going to work on old cars. You guys like Impalas? There's a... Uh, guy that lives up the street from me that's got a 72 I think it is no it's not a 70s it's an older Impala it's a mid 60s I want to say really nice though man it's all decked out lowrider and everything oh it's badass looking okay let's um I'll tell you what let's start looking at let's start looking at the junkyards this guy we're gonna keep him I guess Let's go ahead and start checking out. Well, let's go look at the barn. Go check out a barn or two. No shit, gamer man, dude. Those those cars are really really nice, man. Really really nice. They're kind of pricey nowadays to find because they're so they're so wanted. You know what I mean? And they're so uh, so rare. Seems like back when I was younger, they were all over the place. But here, here it is, 2019. Good luck if you're gonna find anything, right? Oh, come on. Oh, this is a Continental. I was just gonna say, tell me we didn't find one right off the bat. 
This is another Men in Black edition. We've already done one of these, so we're not going to worry about him. Uh, looks like we got a box Chevrolet, the Bolt Chapman. We don't want that guy. You know what? They've done an update to this game or something. This thing feels a lot smoother. Dodge Challenger. Wait, wait what is this, guys? We're going to buy that. Chelsea Johnston coming in with going FK. Chelsea, how's your back doing? Could I help? Let's buy these parts. Guys, Chelsea was in the hospital last night. She had uh, back problems. So, send her a message or tell her in chat. Hope she gets better. Can't be having a nurse mod. All fucked up, right? They did? Dude, it's, it's so... You can tell right off the bat. It's more optimized, it's smoother. It's just all around, uh, you know, easier to, to do, easier to play. Yeah, she was in the, uh, the ER last night. She's got some problems with her back, I guess. But hopefully she'll be, uh, hopefully she'll be alright. Hate to see her, uh, her down and out like that. Chelsea, we're hoping you get better, man. We're rooting for you, girl, we're rooting for you. Okay, so let's go to the junkyard, see what we can locate at this junkyard. We should be able to find an Impala. That's not a very rare car. Um, I'm playing on PS4 or Watch. Are you really? Alright, so did... Uh, oh, guys! Wait a minute. A Dodge Viper? We haven't even seen one of these yet. Let alone built one. It's a V8! What? V8s don't come in Dodge Vipers. We're going to have to just bypass this, guys. We can put a Coyote engine in it. We haven't done a Coyote engine yet. I mean, it is a Dodge Viper. Let's buy it and throw it in the garage. Throw it in the parking. Uh, car parking. Let's do that. New Tragic. What up, dude? What's up, buddy? How are you, man? No commands for the YouTube stream yet. One of these days we'll do it, but once we hit 1,000 subscribers... That's when we'll start bringing in... Oh, there's a truck. That's when we'll start bringing in the commands and the bots and all that good stuff. You know, and if you guys want me to throw up a donation link and all that stuff, once we get to that point, we can do that. Um, so we got our, got ourselves another C10 here. Mr. Picky, it's called. Hit you up later. You working, man? Yeah, what is the deal with Mr. Picky? I don't know, man. I don't know about this Mr. Picky nonsense, but... Alright. Yeah, Tragic Man, don't work too hard, brother. Oh, wait a minute. You're not working, are you? That's right. I remember the conversation we had the other day. I'll be here, man. You know where to find me, brother. I'll be in Discord, too, if you want to jump in later at some point, so... Oh, look at this one, guys. An old Roadrunner. Tempest Magnum Flatface Proto. Alright. Ooh, another El Camino. You know, we haven't done any El Caminos. Okay, so we found ourselves a Dodge Viper. It's not the Dodge Viper that we want because you cannot throw the V10 in there, unfortunately. But that's okay. We can keep looking. Gamer, you're doing a Mach 1, huh? Uh, Chelsea says, nope, I gotta go to the hospital tomorrow for an MRI. I'll be going back to a specialist and a pain doctor here soon. Oh, Chelsea, be careful on what they give you for your pain. Be very careful, man. You don't want to go to a pain management where they hype you up on hydrocodones and oxycodones and get you all tore up, man. That is not the way to go. So just be careful, man. All I ask is just be careful. I'd hate to see you get all hyped up on, on pain pills, you know, and then have to fight that battle trying to get off of them and stuff. That is no fun at all. Okay, so here we are back at the junkyard for a second time, and we got ourselves... Is this one of the Supras? I think it is. Or a Ferrari. Oh, here we go. It's another Dodge Viper. This one does have the V10. 2013. Guys, we're going to buy this. We're going to buy it, and then we're going to throw it in the garage, just in case we can't find the Impala. We can pivot and uh, build that uh, that Dodge Viper there. Be careful. I've seen people in the mid snow. Right. 
I mean, it's it's not that big of a deal when you're taking them, but whenever you go to stop taking them, it can be a big, big pain in the ass, I've heard. Hey, here's a Mustang. Or a Camaro. Not a Mustang, but a Camaro. A Plymouth Barracuda. Oh, a 426. Ooh. I like that. Let's not buy it, though. Let's keep looking. Let's keep looking for what we're uh, what we're here for, which is an old Impala. Uh, you know, I should probably check to make sure that the Impala is available at the junkyard. Did you really the the Hemi sh the Cuda Shaker? Did you really four twenty six? Be nice to have one of those cars in real life, wouldn't it? Guys, uh, also if you haven't already hit the like button. Please be sure to do that. If there's any new viewers here, guys, um, hit that subscribe button. That way you can watch the videos in the future if you're having a good time. Okay, let's move this guy over to car lifter B. Put him in the middle. This guy, we'll move him to the garage. Uh, parking. There we go. It would, but the gas mods, right? With gas prices nowadays. Oh, man. Oh, man. Guys, I've been watching this guy on YouTube. Um, he's a car mechanic, and he's got a, a red Mustang that he uses for drifting. Let's go see if I can find his name. His name is uh, Chris Fixit, I believe. Yep, Chris Fix is his name. Chris Fix. The man is amazing working on vehicles. His videos are crazy informative. So if any of you guys are working on cars and you need some, you know what I mean, you need some advice or some videos to go off of, Chris Fix, I definitely, definitely recommend watching him. I stayed up last night till about 3 in the morning watching his rebuild videos and and all the stuff that he has going on. I just got booted offline. Uh-oh. What happened, man? Did your router go out? Or someone boot you off the internet? Every once in a while I'll get kicked off the internet. Usually around the 7th or 8th of the month. Around 11.30, 12 p.m. at night. 12 a.m. I should say. And it's usually because we don't pay the, the internet bill. Oh, guys! Yo! Is this... Could this be? Oh, this is that silly Nova. How do I get a Nova and an Impala mixed up? Who does that, right? I'm thinking of someone booty. Oh no, someone kicked you, huh? Someone in the house? Uh oh, hope your parents aren't. You're watching that Reeb the Dweeb guy, aren't you? We told you not to watch him. His stream sucks. <laughs> wow, there's like no cars back here, guys. Why do heck, man? Wow, that was kind of a kind of a waste. All right, guys. What we're gonna do? I'm gonna go check the uh, the Steam Workshop real quick, just to make sure that this thing is available at the junkyard. The '73 Impala. Let's add the '64 Impala. '64 is really cool. Okay, so let's go down. Six more five fish, three models, so very high powered, fun burnout machine. Ah, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's not telling me. Junkyard. Okay, junkyard auction shed. And in order. Okay, so it is available in the junkyard. Perfect. I'm about to boot him off. Uh oh, is your brother or something? <laughs> Discs are on sale. For, the DLCs are on sale. Oh, are they really? Now would be a time to, to, to grab them, huh? Alright, so we've got the 73, but the 69, I did not have that installed. Or the 64? The one with all the libraries? I did not I did not have that one installed, so maybe we should restart the game and let that uh, take place. 
or are we pretty much stuck on the 73 Impala? What do you guys think? Oh, it was a random person on your PlayStation. Oh, shit. I hope no one's uh, getting into your IP and all your info, your internet connection stuff. That sucked. All right. Oh, we got a dragster and an Aston Martin. You know, we haven't done one of these. A top fuel dragster. What do you guys think, man? 743 and the other one. Guys, let me know what you think about this. He's about to regret doing that, man. I I wouldn't even get involved with that if I was you, Rapid. God forbid you start a, you know, start a war with that guy and his buddies and shit, and they start getting into your stuff. Before you know it, everything's everything's hacked. Hey guys, here's a Dodge minivan. Is, is this the John Wick Chevelle? No, it's not the 69. We're going to find that John Wick Chevelle one of these days. Oh, a little Pino. It would be nice if we could put a V8 in this bad boy. The Salem Flamo. More like the Salem Lamo. <laughs> oh, is this it? Did we find the John Wick? No, it's a 396. Fuck. Still a good car, man. 396 Super Sport. Still a good car. V12 the Pinto, right? I wish we could. If we could put a V12 in it, we would, man. Like the little smart car. If we could put a big bad engine in that smart car, we would be set. Oh, we would be set. The Pinto. You know, Chevy had a car similar to that, too. It was the Chevette. Not the Chevelle, but the Chevy Chevette. And I believe it was a four-door. No, it was a two-door. A buddy of mine in high school had that as his first car when I was in ninth grade. And it was the junkiest little car ever. Oh, it was the junkiest car. But we didn't care, man. You know, we were in high school. We were like, yeah, let's go. Let's go drive around and cruise. And then he got himself an Acura Integra. A little act. He thought it was the fastest thing in the world. He would always haul ass and try to race people, you know. And then I moved away and then moved back with my 93 Mustang. was just, just like this. And blew the doors off of him. Oh, it was fun. Oh, this one's got a Coyote engine in it, guys. Ooh, it's a Cobra Drift with a Coyote. We've got enough of these 93s, so... We'll hold off on that. We will hold off on that one. Guys, if you could have any car for your first car, or for a car now, what, what would you choose? What would you choose? It has to be a Ford, Chevy, or a Dodge. Oh, look at this guy. Zagato. Dodge Journey. A Dodge Journey? What in the world is a Dodge Journey? I haven't heard of those. Anybody else heard of a Dodge Journey? I have no idea what that is. Are there bikes in the game? I can try to... uh, there is a motorcycle rapid, but it's you can't really add any parts to it. We've got one, I'll show you. My grandparents have a Dodge, really a Dodge Journey. I'm gonna look that up real quick. Cause I'm very curious to see what that looks like. I've, I've never heard of a Dodge Journey. Oh, it's an SUV. Really? Oh, game's not responding. Okay. Let's 
go look this up real quick because I want to see what this thing looks like. Oh, it's a new one. Okay, so did this did this replace the Dodge Durango? Maybe that's why I haven't heard of it because it's it's a newer model. It was a pretty dope. No, they still have Dodge Durangos out. Huh. I'll be damned. I've never seen that before. That's kind of cool. Oh, here's... Whoa, look at this truck, guys. Old Ford, it looks like. Ford F100. You know what? We're going to buy it. And we're going to throw it in the parking. And this damn Super with the headlights on. Look at the swap options we could put in this thing. So many swap options. Still says dummy though, but it does show us a list of engines that we can throw in there. Guys, I'm thinking this Impala is going to be a little tough to find. Oh, wait, unless that's it over there. I don't think this is it though. Wait, no, 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 no. Hold on, guys. This might be what we're looking for. It's a Bolt Cape Supercharged, which I think is an Impala. But it's not the Impala that we're, that we're looking for. We're looking for a specific year. Oh, look at this big old thing. That was cool. Remember that build that we did? I think we did that on Twitch, didn't we? Hey, is this another Hunicorn, it looks like? No, it's a Camaro race. Super Sport race. Ooh, nice. Here's a Mach 1. Yeah, buddy. Mach 1s are dope. Alright, so we struck out yet again. Still trying to find this, this Impala. Wrong thing, I mean Dodge Durango. Yeah, the Dodge Durangos are pretty cool, man. I remember back when they came out with those in 2000. I think it was 1999 or 2000. I was a senior in high school. And our buddy got one. And we would ride around with him. And go do burnouts and stuff. And like we would go to our buddy's house in the middle of the night and do burnouts at their house. And there was this one guy that we used to mess with all the time. I mean, he would do the same thing to us, get us in trouble. But we backed up to his front door and put it in drive. And Jeff was his name, the guy who owned the vehicle. He sat there for about a good 30 seconds just power breaking it, throwing mud all over the front of the house, all over the door, left two big old huge tracks. Oh, my God, it was insane. It was so funny. But he was really anal about his car, man. You could say, oh, Jeff, what's this scratch on your car, man? And he would get all freaked out, and you know what I mean? Oh, it was nuts. But God, those were good times. That was back when I lived in Florida. I lived with my dad. Oh, we got a jet. A Lockheed Martin jet. There's another school bus. Another pick em up truck. Oh, look at this, guys. Oh, what is this? A red eye? No, it's a speed hunter again. With a really cool looking hood. Dang, this thing's been here for a while. Look at the wheels. Look how big those wheels are. Alright, so we struck out yet again. Um. I'll tell you what, we'll take two more trips. If we can't find it, we'll start going to the car auction, potentially. See if we can find one there. I would like to find the 64, though, because we do have a lot of libraries for that. We can make it look really, really cool. Alright, let's, uh, you know what, let's try the car auction real quick. Yeah, it seems like the loading times for going to these places has kind of dropped a little bit too. Like when you click and hold. I'm kind of curious to see when we start working on the vehicles. If there's any, uh, you know, improvements on that. Okay, let's see what they got there. Smith 1500, Ford GT40, a Hunicorn, a 67 GT500. We've done one of those. Ooh, a Dom's Charger. We've done that one. Uh, why can't I see what's going on down here? The whole stream. Appreciate that, gamer. Right on, man. Right on, man. Appreciate that, buddy. 
All right, guys. Um, I'll tell you what. What we're going to do is we're going to close the game down and reopen it. That way we can let the new workshop mod that we just installed, the 64 Impala. We'll see if we can find that one. Because that one's got a ton of libraries like I was just saying. We can really make it look cool. So let's back out here for a second. Let's go ahead and exit. And then we will relaunch this bad boy. And hopefully we can find that library or that uh that, that vehicle. That would be really, really neat. Okay. Relaunch car mechanic simulator. Yeah, that's one car that we haven't done yet on here was the uh the Impala. Maybe we should do the shop mode. What do you guys think? Should we do the, the shop mode and see how much money we can make by selling it? I'll let you guys decide. Sandbox mode or shop mode? Shop mode, we've got... We sold Dom's Charger, so we do have... I think $400,000 that we can mess with. So what's up to you guys? Rapid, Gamer Man, I'll let you guys decide. If there's anybody else watching, you guys get to, get to decide as well. Normally, the sandbox mode is cool because you got so much money you don't have to worry about replacing it or uh, repairing any parts you can just buy everything brand new you know but then the uh, story mode the shop mode be kind of nice to get tons of money on that one yeah let's try that let's do the shop mode guys we'll go see if we can buy this car in the shop mode and we will kick some butt if we can get the game to relaunch Says it's not responding. Uh -oh. We have some technical difficulties. There we go. Technical difficulties. All right, we've got sound. We've got visuals. I think we are ready to go. All right, so let's go ahead and load up the shop mode, I think, guys. Yeah, we'll do the shop mode. That way we can uh, try to earn some more money, try to level up, you know. So we want to go to Rebage, select Profile, Back, and then Continue. Okay, so now... No, do the sandbox mode. Ah, oh, shit, do the sandbox. Damn it, too late, man. Too late. You want me to back out and do it? I will if you want. But we do have enough money on the shop mode, so we could potentially do anything we want. I don't know why this car is so tricky to find. Okay, so we still got a Ferrari. Oh yeah, we got $498,000 on here, guys. We got a solid amount. That's okay. Okay, cool. All right, we are level 36. Plus, we've got all these barn locations. Let's spend $100 and drive out to the barn. See what we have. Oh, we got ourselves a GT40. We got ourselves. Oh, hoo 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 hoo! Look at this, guys. What do you think? Sixty-nine thousand dollars. It's got ten thousand miles on it. Frame conditions in really good shape. GT350, GT4. I don't know. Let's go see what else they got. I really want to get it, but... At the same time...
60,000. Let's, you know what? I'm thinking we should buy it. I'm thinking we should buy it, you guys. It is a really cool looking car. I mean, this spoiler on the back. God damn, we gotta get rid of that. Look at that big old Coyote 5 liter. Very, very nice. I don't know. Let's flip a coin. Heads we're buying it, tails we're not. Nope, tails, we're not buying it. Alright, let's get out of here. It's the first time I've seen one of those. That is the first time I have seen one of those Mustangs. You know, I still don't think we've put one of those Coyote engines in any in any vehicle. I think I'm saving that for the um, for the cool Fox body I got. There we go. Let's back out. Okay, let's go to the junkyard. Let's try that out. Five hundred dollars go to the junkyard. Ouch. Ouch. Well, we got five hundred thousand, so that's what one percent. One percent of her bankroll. One percent of her bankroll. Oh, there's another Bolt Super Cape. Here's another what Chevy Nova? Yeah, it's a Nova. Well, those Novas are pretty common, guys. Wait a minute. This might be what we're looking for, guys. Hey! The 73 Impala stock. We found it. We found it. We found it. All right, guys. We're going to buy it. $7,962. Not too shabby at all. I think we're going to go ahead and scoop this bad boy up. We've got quite a few swap options. We can put a 385, we can put a mag, magnum, we can put a hemi. Uh, we can do the dual carb supercharger. We can do the V8 supercharger. AXK, I wonder what the AXK is. Do an engine swap, okay. We're buying it. We don't care what condition it's in. We're gonna buy it and we're gonna send it to the garage. But before we leave, we're gonna take a look and see what other vehicles we can find here. Because if we can find the 64, that would be really cool. We could do both of them tonight. Oh, look, it's a Back to the Future DeLorean. Yeah. Well, it's not Back to the Future DeLorean, but. We got ourselves a Corvette. A nice little Corvette. All right, so we found our car, man. We found our car. Yeah, let's get on out of here. Alright, so let's strip this up. We need to start thinking about what color we want to paint it, too. Hell yeah. Good call doing the older cars today, too, man. Damn good call. Damn good call. All right, so this thing's got a nice top. Wait a minute. Why is the steering wheel on the passenger side of the vehicle? Um, that makes me a little nervous. <laughs> Must have been done by someone that was in uh in the UK, huh? All right, doesn't matter because we are going to do it. Car lifter A, it goes. All right, so we've got four hundred and ninety thousand dollars. How much did we pay for this car? Uh, oh, look, we could sell it right now and make a profit. We only paid six thousand. We can make a couple hundred dollars profit right now, but we don't want to do that. We want to fix this bad boy up and see exactly what we can make out of it. So let me uh, grab a pen and a piece of paper. We'll write down our starter, our starting budget starting bankroll 
All right. So we paid six nine for it. Performance. Oh, you know it, man. You know it. Six k. Um. So we've got a bankroll. Uh, we started at four hundred and ninety six k. Okay, perfect. So we got that written down. We'll see exactly how much it costs, how much, you know, to, to do all this stuff. So, uh, first thing we need to do is put on the lifter and drain the oil out of it. Get rid of all the fluids. Oh, I like the wheels too. Okay, let's move that over. No oil. Beautiful. All right, so we're gonna start. Just like we do every other build, we're going to yank these tires off first. Boy, it's been a while since we've done this. We'll yank off all the brake parts. Get these wheel hubs out of here as well. We should have a good amount of parts though. I don't think we have everything we need. But we should have a good amount of stuff. And like every other build, we're going to do this 100% rebuild it all. Completely brand new. That's got to go. Let's go ahead and yank out these exhaust pipes. We'll get these bushings out because the K member has to come out as well. There we go. That can come out. That can come out. Yeah, so we gotta figure out what engine we wanna use. Wheels gotta come off. Brake caliper. I was doing this uh, last weekend, you guys. I had to do a brake job for my sister's car. The, uh, the piston inside the caliper was bad, so we needed to rebuild the caliper pretty much. Go upper arm comes off now. Let's get these sway bar links off. Sway bar can come out. Shock absorber can come out. Perfect. Um, this guy can come off now as well. Let's get rid of him. All right, so let's drop this tie rod and this tie rod, and we'll get our steering rack out. All right, there we go. Now let's go ahead, while we're down here, let's get rid of this drive shaft. Gamer man, have a good night, man. Thank you for the, uh, the support, brother. Have a good night. And uh, we'll... We'll deck this bad boy out with straight performance parts, so you'll be able to watch that later. Alright guys, clutch has got to come out. Uh, might as well take the flywheel off now. Alright, let's start on the rear suspension now. Get rid of this tire. Yank these lug nuts off. Oh, it's got disc brakes all the way around. Nice, that's surprising. I didn't expect to see that in an old car like this. That comes off. The axle comes out. Four bolts for this guy. Knuckle housing. Let's add him to the parts because I don't believe we have one of those. Shock absorber bees. We don't have those either. These guys are easy to repair. We should be able to repair these uh, U bolts and leaf springs no problem. Oh, this guy gets yanked. That gets yanked. That gets yanked. And that gets yanked, along with the shock absorber B. Might as well take the uh, mufflers out while we're back here. We're going to have to figure out what color we want to paint this, too, guys. And we are definitely going to do an engine swap. We're going to put in. I don't know what we're going to put in yet. 
probably the most powerful engine that we can choose on this guy. Uh, let's see here. The 385 would be nice. The two carb overhead valve supercharged. Maybe we'll do the two carburetor supercharged because we've done a lot of the uh, the basic V8 supercharged. Um, we can put a Hemi in here too. It looks like overhead valve 6P. I wonder what that's all about. What what engine is in here? Just the basic V8 one carburetor, huh? Yeah, we're definitely gonna definitely gonna boost that up for sure. Alright, these U-bolts gotta come off. And we'll get this uh, bolting plate off. Bushing can come out. Alright. Fuel tank, that's gotta come out as well. Alright, so it looks like we're pretty much good. Let's get the engine hoist over here and yank that out. Didn't see a battery on this car either. Let's go ahead and put a new brake servo in. Okay. Pull out and then. So let's let's decide what we want to do here. We can either do the Hemi. Let's go see what the 6P is all about. Let's go see what that uh, V8 6P AXK. It's a nice looking engine. This is one of the ones that we could replace right here. We could do this one as well. I mean, that's going to be a uh, twin turbo in there, huh? I mean, it's got 425. Magnum's got 375. 390. Uh, we don't want to put a Hemi in there. That wouldn't. That just wouldn't sit right. The 385, we can throw that in there. Let's do the dual carburetor. The dual carb. This guy right here, two carb overhead valve supercharged. It's not very much horsepower though. Yeah, let's let's do that one. Double carburetors, it'll be epic. Two car uh this guy right here. Supercharger. Only adds fifty horsepower. There's no way. Okay, so we're going to start with this guy. Uh, what block do we need? We need overhead valve block. I think we can use the same block that we have now, so let's... Alright, let's strip this guy out, because we can use some of the parts off of here, I think. I believe the block is the same. Yep, the block is the same. So if we can repair the block, we'll be good to go on that. Boy, this is in rough shape, you guys. Let me tell you that. This is in rough shape. off. 
Let's start yanking the front. Get rid of all this stuff. There we go. Crankshaft always got to come off as well. Now the timing cover. see which one of these pistons we can yank out. Wow, none of these are bolted in. Are you serious? Oh, damn, none of them were bolted in. Wow. Alright, let's go over here. We want to repair the crankshaft. We want to repair that guy, not the brake servo. Caliper we want to replace. Shit, part is conditions decreased. Um Carburetor supercharger, yes. Yes, yes, yes. We don't want to worry about the gearbox. Uh, nor the brake servo. Okay, that's pretty much all that we want to do for time being. Because everything else is just going to... This guy right here. Block. Um, we're gonna need our pistons, I, crankshaft. Let's go bolt our crankshaft, and I think we were able to repair that. Yeah, we definitely were. Uh, do we have any? My lord, look at all these pistons that we need to get rid of. Holy shnikes! All right, so let's go to the store. We'll start buying some stuff. Um, we need ourselves an alternator. We need ourselves two carburetors, pressure plate, clutch plate. We are going to need the cylinder heads, of course. Uh, let's get a flywheel, fuel filter, fuel pump. This guy we need. This guy we need. Uh, the cap, I think, is I-6. No, it's not. It's that one. Intake manifold, dual carb. Let's buy that. Uh, pistons. We need eight of these. Perfect. Power steering pump. We definitely need that, right? I think it's just a basic V8. Eight of those. Uh, let's see. What else are we missing? Okay, let's go to the normal store. We'll get the rings that we need. Piston rings. We need eight of those. We need our oil pan. And our oil filter. There we go. Oil pan looks like this guy. We've got our oil pan. We've got that. Um, what else do we need? Cylinder heads, we're going to need the timing chain. We're going to need our camshaft as well. Okay, so there's that. You know what, I'm not exactly sure what camshaft goes in this one. I think it's just the basic overhead valve. It is. So let's go buy the camshaft now as well. V8's overhead valve. This guy right here. 
Okay, so we should have enough to get started. Slap him in there. Start getting these pistons in. That goes, that goes, that goes. That goes. Our fuel filter. That goes. And okay, these are just the V8 overhead valve cylinder heads, so good deal on that. Guess we already have one of those laying around, huh? Alright, so we need ourselves a cam gear now. So let's go home, we'll go to the cam gear da, 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 da. right there. Timey chain, we got a new one of those. Let's put our cover back on. Oh, we weren't able to replace the uh, repair the timing cover? I'll be damned. Alright, we need a timing cover too, it looks like, guys. We'll take care of that after we get the uh, all the pistons bolted in. There's that. Oh, guys, we forgot to do a tweet today, didn't we? Forgot to tweet out our uh, YouTube. That's okay. Um, performance alternator, that goes on as well. Let's go ahead and throw our oil filter on. Oh, we don't have an ignition coil B. We do have a performance power steering pump, though. So we need that. We need that. We need that as well. Let's make sure we got... Okay, we need rod caps. Let's see if we have what we need to bolt the crankshaft in. Oh yeah, we got lots of main bearing caps. Good deal. I'm surprised they don't have the four bolt mains in here though. Okay, down in goes that bad boy. Alright, so let's go back to the store. Let's pull up our list over here on the right. Uh, let's see here. Let's get our rod caps. We need eight of those bad boys. We probably need our push rods. We'll wait for that though. Okay, so we got our rods. We need our timing cover. For V8 overhead valve, which looks like this guy right there. And the rest of the stuff we can buy at the uh, performance shop. So, coil B, engine head V8 overhead valve, right here. Perfect. Looking good, guys, looking good. Get these guys torqued down. Nice and solid. Okay, oil pan can go on now. Timing cover on. Torque this guy down. Um, do they have a performance water pump? I don't know if they do. No, they don't. So let's just throw the old one back on. Three and four. Looking good. Coil that can go on. Both our cylinder heads on while the engine is tilted. Let's 
I wonder how much power we're going to get out of this. Hope we can get a good amount of power. What's that? Supercharger, intake, manifold. So we got the top part. We just need the bottom half. And they don't have it, it looks like. Okay. This guy's what we need. Supercharger and take me out of fold. There we go. Okay. Let's bolt him on. Very surprising I don't have a ported and polished version of this in the performance store. Same thing with the supercharger. I mean, they've got the carburetors. So we can't be too finicky about you know, bitching about parts and stuff, so. Uh, four barrel, there we go. We need our scoop air filters. Alright, let's start throwing our push rods in here. And we'll get our rocker arms on as well. These are some long push rods. My lord, these are some long looking push rods. Still kind of bummed they don't have the performance rocker arms yet. Maybe one day they'll add that in, but. Not today. That. Alright, let's get our performance plugs in. some pulleys too, right? Yes, we need some pulleys as well. Let's see here. I wonder what that Conrad is. Piston with Conrad. I wonder if that's just like a coating they put on or if it's just what they use as far as forging the actual piece, you know? Like if they add something into the uh, the metal or to the iron to mix it up. Okay, uh, we need ourselves some more rocker arms. It'd be nice to get some roller rockers. It'd be dope, huh? And then we need engine head cover B. So let's see. Head cover. Okay, there's A, there's B. We need some pulleys. So we need a uh, crankshaft pulley this guy and then a supercharger water pump pulley this guy perfect so we got the covers we've got the pulleys we need the scoop air filter and the exhaust manifold oh they don't have the scoops fucking seriously guys 
All right, um, on to the manifold. Exhaust manifold, and we're looking for the V8 overhead valve. Uh, I don't see any of these guys right down in here, I think. There we go. Let's get these head covers bolted on. Valve covers, they call them. A lot of times, if your car's leaking oil, guys, that's where it's coming from. Your valve covers. If you're lucky. If you're not lucky, and you're really, really not lucky, your cylinder head gaskets are going to be leaking. And that is no fun. Because it takes a lot to get to them. And the cylinder heads have to be retorqued and all that. And mechanics usually charge you an arm and a leg for that kind of stuff if you don't know how to do it yourself. Um, last performance plug. Okay, so we need to get ourselves some wires, it looks like. What else do we need? Let's bolt this guy on. Let's bolt him on. Belts. We don't have any belts, I don't think. So belts. Let's add that guy. Let's add that guy. Throw this back on. Get our exhaust manifold on our set of headers. Alright, then we'll go back and buy some stuff at the store. Alright, so we need plug wires. We need just the basic V8, I'm thinking. Yep. Alright, so we got our plug wires. Uh, now we need to go buy our belts. And we need the supercharger belt and the SERP belt B. SERP belt B, where are you at? Okay, we need this guy and then this guy. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, throw him on. Throw this big old fat piece of rubber on. Let's get those on. Oh, we gotta get our scoops, that's right. Need one of those as well. Bam. Alright, guys. Let's get the back end on. Or it bolts up to the transmission and we'll be good to go. Look at all these clutch plates we got. Holy moly. God, are we ready to do some uh, clutch replacement jobs or what? throw out bearing in there okay so that bad boy is finished looking good so while we're here let's yank this guy off we'll yank the trunk off we'll yank the front left door off all right let's get this bad boy cleaned up clean this body up We'll move him over. We'll move the detailing toolkit over as well. Thousand dollars, very nice. Hundred dollars, very nice. All right, let's get to work on the suspension, guys. Let's go ahead and throw all the suspension back in. Um, I have a feeling we're gonna have to buy a lot of pieces. Oh, maybe not. We might get kind of lucky. Let's see what we got. Um, the cross member. Cross member E. We need that guy. All right. And he goes. And hopefully we've got. Yeah, we got plenty of bushings. So let's start with one part. And then we'll bolt everything in that needs to go to that. 
Let's see if we get a better angle on this guy. And then this guy needs to go in as well. Uh, no. Let's throw him in. But we are going to need these pieces, so. Looks like overhead valve C. Same thing, overhead valve C. Middle mufflers. Uh, nope, we're going to need those as well. Let's go ahead and add those. And then the rear mufflers. We don't have any performance versions of those either, so. Uh, we don't have any of these ready to rock either. We're going to have to get that. Uh, steering rack. Perfect. Sway bar. Tie rods. Surely we've got tie rods, right? Well, we're getting low, though. We're going to need another knuckle cover, it looks like. We need some brake pads too. Okay, so let's jump to the, the other side now. We'll start cranking away on this guy. bolted in. Oh, we, oh, we need a knuckle cover. Alright, let's go to the store and start buying what we need here. Knuckle cover, we need... What kind of knuckle cover was that? That was a knuckle cover. No, it was just a regular one. that guy let's go ahead and get our sway bar B we need our brake pads we also need little wishbone shock absorbers two of those guys Let's scroll down. We're going to need front shocks, two of those, two caps. And let's go get our performance exhaust pieces. Um, this guy. We need a good valve. Okay, two of those. We know they've got middle mufflers. Two of those. Now the front pipes, the front, I don't know if we have the fronts. Uh, we do not have the C version, the C variant. guys together. The wishbone shock absorber. Perfect. This is going to be nice. Everything's going to be brand new, guys.
All right. So let's continue bolting this bad boy together. Let's get our sway bar in there. <coughs> Whoa, excuse me. goes in let's get our knuckle cover on let's bolt these guys on as well now we can finish off the front wheel hubs and the front suspension pieces and we got our brake pads now got our brake calipers I really wish we could paint these brake calipers This guy goes in as well. Then we got our brake pads over here and our brake caliper. Alright, everything looks good. Now let's get these guys thrown in. Nice chrome looking exhaust. goes on let's get our rear oh we gotta buy a new fuel tank that's right all right so let's clear our parts list let's go and do we have a wheel hub absolutely we should have springs right I'm hoping we need whoa hey there go on now Reeb. we need some springs we've got enough caps it looks like what about these okay we've got those let's bolt those guys in let's get our plates plates are in let's get our leaf spring u-bolts in Beautiful, beautiful. Looking good, looking good. I wonder how much cash we're going to make on this, guys. This is going to be kind of kind of interesting to see. I also think you're the only one here, you know it? And you're uh, you're in lurk, lurk mode, my dear. Oh, yeah, I appreciate that. All right, so let's go put our drive shaft in. Or drive axle, excuse me. There we go. Now we can put our brake disc on. Our brake pads. Our fancy brake caliper. And we're going to wait for the tires. Okay, so now we've got to go buy some more stuff. Well, suspension is what we're after. All right, we're looking for springs, front springs, rear springs. Let's might as well get the caps too. Caps are only sixty-five bucks a pop. Um, let's see here: rear axle knuckle housing C, and then shock absorber B's. There we go. And after that, we should be about ready to rock on this, guys. Well, we still got to do the tires. Yeah, we got to figure out what tires we want. Oh, we had the caps, damn it. Wasted money on that, but that's okay. Okay, looking good, looking good. Moving right along here. Let's get our wheel hub on. Let's get our drive shot, our drive axle in. Our spleen drive axle. That goes on as well. Let's get our brake pads going. Looking good. Brake 
that nice piston going on. Alright. Um, let's go... Here, let's clear that list out. And then we need, do need a fuel tank. Fuel pump, intake fuel pump, which should not be an intake fuel pump with dual carburetors, but it's okay. Okay, and then the rim is 15s, huh? We're gonna do white walls. We are gonna do white walls. Yeah, let's do 14s. Thousand bucks for the tires. Ouch. And then we want these rims. Let's see if they've got any other ones. Too bad they don't have any dope ass looking Daytons. I mean, these are pretty close. Um, this is pretty close. Should have got that damn rim DLC. If that's on sale, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna buy some of those. We do 14s. Actually, let's just keep it. Let's do these. Alright, so now let's bolt these tires on, balance these bad boys. It's gonna look pretty good. Actually, I don't know, man. That's just some big ass white walls for such an itty bitty wheel. Oh. I think we messed up. I think we messed up. Let's go put it on there and see. Damn it. We need to paint these rims chrome too, I think. Okay. Let's put this on and see what we got. Kinda like it. Yeah, I like it. Let's run with it. Let's run. Let's run with it. Yeah, I, I, I kind of like that. Let's just run with it. Rooms don't need really really need to be crimmed out or chromed out because they are already chromed. Crimmed out. We need to crim the rims, man. The rims are not crimmed. too bad actually guys yeah not too bad at all let's lower it down uh, let's see if we can replace these body panels I don't think we can 
No, unfortunately we cannot. So let's take this engine and then install it. Oh, this is starting to look good. Oh, yes. 73 Impala. All right, let's go see what we can find here, guys. Let's see if they got any cool pieces for it, though. See what, how many different 73s come up. Should just be the, the yeah, just the Impala. All right, so we're gonna do this hood. We're gonna do the basic doors. Um, what's the difference between these fenders? We're gonna do the B options. Well, we don't know what we're gonna do yet, so. Uh, what else? Do we need the mirrors? Yeah, we need the mirrors. Let's just get it all, right? Let's just get it all. Oh, wait, there's the battery. That was 23%. Ouch. I love how the batteries are never shot in this game. You never need to replace them. All you gotta do is charge them. Every single time. It's great. There's a trunk, tail light, bumper. Uh, yeah, we gotta change the plates for sure. has got to come out. Alright, so that's that fender. And then over here we've got this fender. Almost looks like a Continental on the front. I see absolutely no difference. Huh, I don't see any difference at all whatsoever. It's kind of funky. It's the funky Comedina. Alright, let's get this front bumper on here and get this hood bolted on. Very nice looking car. Oh, you need to get this damn, damn window in though. Alright, right door. Uh, front right door. Perfect. We need to get this rear window in. Uh, there we go. Guys, I think that's pretty much it. We don't need license plates because we are going to sell it. We'll let the new buyer worry about that. Uh, let's see here. Let's get that one. And we did replace the other side, right? think yeah okay so let's look at the value now um, the interior is going to be messed up the steering wheel probably is going to be the only thing oh we still got a couple parts guys and yeah, we're not done yet by any means Theater's done. Okay, we need to put these clips on. We should have done that before we uh, put the top half of the engine on. It would have been a lot easier to reach, but seems how it's a video game, we don't have to worry about that. Two of those. 
one there, and one here. Okay, um, whoa, we're missing another belt. Oh, shit. Uh, it's that one, I believe, right? Let's double check. Yes, it is. We don't have a fan. I think it's just the B, right? No, it's got to be the A version with the overhead valve. Otherwise, it wouldn't uh, say overhead valve, right? There we go. Okay. Let's go get our battery. And then we'll put some oil in it. Did you not grab the right battery? Alright. I don't know what the, hell, what the heck that was there, guys. Get our transmission going on. You know, we might have one of those tricked out transmissions already in our inventory. Because that's a very common gearbox. It is not. But we're not going to mess with. It. Let's just put the regular one in. Because we're not going to go crazy and try to test drive all this stuff. I mean, we're going to go test drive it and all ass in it. But we're not going to. What in the hell is that? We're not going to be doing like testing and seeing how fast we can get and so we don't need to worry about that okay drive shaft gamer man's gonna be like hey you didn't put that upgraded transmission in like you said you was gamer man if you're watching this part of the video man let me know in the comments if you want me to go back and fix this or not fix it but swap it out for an upgraded version. Anybody watching, if you guys want me to go back and upgrade this, and fix this little basic gearbox, upgrade it to a really cool gearbox, let me know. Write it in the comments below. I'll make sure to pin it. If it gets more than three likes, we'll do it. Okay, so we are just about done with this bad boy. we got to put some oil in it, fix the interior, and then we get to paint it. You know what? Let's go buy her some license plates. Why not? We could send this car to Armenia. Let's send this car to... Let's see here. Let's send this car to... Latvia. Hey! Latvia. If anybody's watching this from Latvia... So shout out for you guys. And Felion, if you're watching, my dear, this is a shout out for you. All right. Uh, rear bumper, we need to assemble. Latvia number one. This looks like a Latvian Russian, or a Latvian gangster car, doesn't it? We've always wanted the... 7Z3 in Pala, man. So we can do our gangster business. Terrible Russian accent, right? Okay, so we will move this guy to the paint booth and we will repair the interior in the paint booth. This poor Ferrari 812, man. We gotta fix him up. Oh, he's another Tour de France edition. F12. I gotta do one of those, though. Okay, uh, close that bad boy down. Let's see here. This looks pretty cool, guys. 
Okay, assemble mode, normal mode, we need to do interior disassemble. And then reassemble. We don't have a front bench. Steering wheel 15. Let's go get us steering wheel 15. Okay, uh, body shop here. Wheel 15. Wait a minute. Um, why are we in the body shop when we need to be the in the interior shop? What is wrong with you, my friend? Okay, there we go. And then we need, what, the Bowman front bench? To, because interior matters, right? So we got that. I'll tell you what. Let's look at the status of the car. Scroll all the way down. Uh, bench. Oh, it's a, not a Bowman, but a Bowen. Front Bowen. Okay, gotcha. I typed in Bowman. Yep. Bowen. There we go. Uh, front bench. Rear bench. It's not letting us see anything about the rear bench, I don't think. Okay. Boy, all I know is we're going to make, hopefully, decent profit. Decent profit for a car like this. Because we went all high performance, it's probably only going to be ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 if we're lucky. Minus the paint job, so... Um, okay, let's paint this guy. Now, here is where I need your guys' help. If there's anybody watching the live stream right now, let me know what color this bad boy you guys want it to be painted. And we'll make it happen. I don't think we have any libraries for it. Unfortunately, we don't. Let's get a better looking angle here. That pearl. That pearl though, right? Especially from the front angle. We could do like a silver. I don't know about that with the white walls. Let's do... Let's saturate the living hell out of it. Definitely don't want to do... Wait, let's do red. A little bit le less, and we'll darken it up a little bit. Right around there, and then let's see... That does not look good at all. Of course the chrome's going to look good, because anything chrome looks, you know, fantastic, but... I don't want to do a pearl on this car. We could do like a really dark blue, maybe. Too bad we couldn't throw metal flakes in. That'd really be cool. Chameleon, though, from the front looks good. Metallic, and then matte, and then pearl. Let's let's go with. I, I'm liking this one. Let's try this one out. Thousand bucks to paint it. That's going to eat into our profit even more. It's just not shiny enough. Let's move it around and see what it looks like in different rooms. Yo, bring me the oil can. We gotta put some oil on this bad boy. You know, if you turn the oil can sideways, you don't have to worry about that cool, 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 cool pouring all over the engine. It's a lot easier. Okay. Now we've got everything, I think. All the clips are in. All the belts are in. The starters and the drive shaft is hooked up. That, that, that doesn't look half bad, guys. 
and here it looks a lot the paint looks a lot better whoa whoa what the hell Can we sit in this bad boy? I like it, guys. E brake doesn't fit. Sounds like it's got some power. I wish we could uh, hit the gas while we're sitting in it. All right, let's start this guy. I'm not gonna get crazy amounts out of it, but it is a supercharged dual carburetor. It's a lot of car too. This car's really, really heavy. This car is really, really heavy. Are you serious? Almost a 90% gain? I was not expecting that at all. 942 horsepower. The torque, though. 1,200 foot-pounds of torque. Wow. We've got to go drive this. Yeah, we've got to drive it. Let's go drive it on our... Uh, on our rainbow road. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You guys are insane with these mods, man. I swear. You guys are insane with these workshop mod requests. What in the actual? This car is going to spin them itty bitty tires. <laughs> It's not meant for hauling ass. Oh god, we're in shop mode. Oh god, this is gonna drop the value of the body parts. No! Okay, we cannot wreck this thing. We cannot wreck this thing. Any more than we already have. Let's take it to... No matter what we take it to, it's just gonna break them loose. Let's go see what it looks like at the abandoned airport. Not too bad. Looks pretty good out here. I love how the front end just stands up. Not too shabby. Alright. Let's go see what we can get out of it. We should have checked the price before we did all this because the tires were going to go down a little bit, but that's alright. No big deal. We're only going to lose probably a couple hundred bucks, I'm thinking. So we started out with four hundred and ninety-six thousand dollars. Car was roughly six k. We're sitting at four fifty right now. So that's forty-six thousand dollars that we spent. Uh, let's see. Four hundred and 
let's go check the condition. Because we did smash a couple things. Okay, so we're still good on that. I thought for sure the tires would have went down. Alright, so we're looking at $57,000 plus a bonus of 11000 So we're at four fifty. Let's go ahead and sell this, guys. Let's take one last look at it. We did put a dual carb supercharged engine in this bad boy. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Alright, so we are going to sell it. Car status. See you later, buddy. $68,000 is what we're going to make. So 68 minus the 46. That's about $22,000. $22,601. My math is correct. Alright, let's sell it. Yep, $22,607. Not too shabby. Alright guys, that's pretty much going to be it for this live stream. I uh, appreciate you guys watching and hanging out. Um, if you have not already, make sure you like that video. Like this video. Live stream. Um, and the next video, we're probably going to do that uh, Dodge Viper that we were looking at at the beginning of the live stream. So, You guys are awesome. Until next time, I have some fun. I have some fun. Alright guys, see y'all later.